Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Yoon Jung Min. President Yoon Song Yeol on Friday held a bilateral summit with his Uzbek counterpart, Shevket Mirziyoyev. During his state visit to the Central Asian country, the third and final stop of his week-long tour of the region. The highlight of the leaders' meeting was the signing of multiple agreements aimed at deepening cooperation across various sectors. The leaders jointly announced the outcomes of their summit about half an hour ago. And we have our correspondent Wu Suyong in the Uzbek capital to fill us in on the main points. Hi Suyong, it's great to have you with us. Let's begin with the major outcomes of that summit. Hi, Jongmin. Yes, indeed, as you said, the leaders oversaw the signing of multiple agreements, 15 in fact, uh, after their bilateral summit, beginning with some hefty deals inked in the infrastructure and energy sectors. First, Seoul and Tashkent will bolster support for Korean firms as they work on orders for national projects in Uzbekistan, including Korea's export of high-speed rail vehicles. Hyundai Rotem signed the deal with Uzbekistan's rail authority to supply six high-speed rail sets to the Central Asian country in a contract worth 270 billion won, or 195 million US dollars, to supply a total of 42 cars for high-speed trains at a speed of 250 uh, kilometers per hour, along with repair and maintenance services. Upon the 20th anniversary of Korea's high-speed rail line KTX, it's going to mark the first time that the country supplies its technology overseas. Korea will also uh, work with Uzbek authorities to modernize the Central Asian country's heating system by sharing the South Korean model, and this would pave the way for the entry of Korean construction and plumbing businesses. Another major outcome is South Korea and Uzbekistan solidifying their partnership on rare earth minerals, including uh, tungsten and uh, molyd molybdenum, which uh, are vital minerals for industries such as semiconductors and batteries, which are, of course, South Korea's most, uh, its foremost tech industries. The two sides will establish a comprehensive cooperation system from the stages of exploration to the development, refining, smelting and uh, utilization of minerals as well. So Korean firms will also have the opportunity to participate in the development and production uh, of minerals once their economic viability is confirmed ahead of other competitors. The two sides will also produce, uh, sorry, uh, expand facilities for high purity rare metal products and create a new database system to jointly strengthen the supply chain of critical minerals. President Yoon also emphasized the need to reinforce the two countries' a special strategic partnership. That's right. So the aim here is to expand the fields of cooperation and facilitate stronger, uh, mutually beneficial partnerships, according to President Yoon. To further help Korean firms make inroads into Uzbek industries, Seoul will back Uzbekistan's bid to join the World Trade Organization, as that would, of course, stabilize uh, business prospects in the country for Korean firms. The two sides also agreed to expand financing options for Korean companies looking to export automobiles, auto parts, machinery and equipment, among other things, and to just diversify the fields of economic cooperation even further. Korea will ramp up its concessional financing to Uzbekistan, doubling the amount from 1 billion US dollars to uh, from the 2021 to 2023 period to 2 billion US dollars beginning this year. Such funds would contribute to future oriented projects such as building a pharmaceutical cluster in Uzbekistan, for instance, to increase its drug self-sufficiency. With Uzbekistan's young and dynamic population, Korea will also help nurture a skilled workforce through technological training uh, through some of its vocational centers already there. In fact, it's already trained some 11,700 people over the past 11 years through development assistance projects in five regions across Uzbekistan. Now, the two countries will also look to boost military cooperation to go beyond education and training to cover cybersecurity and defense technology. So we, are now, we now come upon the five-year milestone of the two countries' special strategic partnership. So the two countries are going to take their cooperation even further to the regional level, with South Korea having launched its K-Silk Road initiative last week. This aims to bolster partnerships with five Central Asian countries on economic security, development and culture. Now, the Uzbek 
uh, the Uzbek leader endorsed this initiative and in a strong show of solidarity on regional and global issues, he joined President Yoon in calling for the complete denuclearization of North Korea and backed Yoon's audacious initiative of offering unprecedented economic benefits in return for the North scrapping its nukes. So as you can see, there were quite a diverse range of uh, quite a number of important takeaways from this summit. That's right, Su Young and President Yoon will wrap up his visit to Uzbekistan on Saturday, bring his three nation tour of Central Asia to an end. All right, thanks for that comprehensive coverage. Pleasure to be here.